welcome back guys on the third episode on Tekken Bloodline and uh, last episode episode two was uh quite intense Hayashi Mishima put Jin through through quite some difficult trainings but Jin managed to adapt and was able to unlock or awaken the Hihachi Mishima desire, the burn, the flame of Hihachi Mishima or the Mishima last name. You guys saw that, right? I'm going to stay silent. They have an old beef? Oh, he's using his mother's last name, not his father's last name. I guess that's a way for him to hide his true identity, right? <laughs> the way they said no it's like they put so much passion into that no they're like I guess they are rivals then if they're not friends alright let's go There's the Hiachi's face in, on that mountain. A footage of oh wow, a footage of uh, Kazuya and Yachi. Mm. Uh, 
All right. Oh, because the reason why Ogre came for him and his mother was because they were fighting, they were practicing. But I think there was there is more reason why, there is more in-depth reason why that Ogre came for them. I don't think it was just for the fighting. I guess he actually kind of knew that if he tells Jin about that fight, it's going to cloud his judgment even more, that he needs to bring his focus back and zero, in, zero it in on the fight instead of speculating in his head and these things clouding his judgment and his focus. King of the Iron Fist Tournament. I'm already getting goosebumps, man. If you're a Baki fan, Ken Ganashira fan, Dragon Ball Z fan, Mortal Kombat fan, Tekken video game fan, you already know. You should be feeling what I'm feeling right now. Some of these fighters are really looking forward to this fight. They are really looking forward to whoop someone's ass.
Tomorrow they fight. Tonight they eat. Oh, the word has already got out that he's been training with Yachi Michima. Hmm. Why do I? Why do this guy reminds me of B from Naruto? See how he controlled his emotions, just like his mother taught him. Hmm? He's going to put Jin against that guy. I'm sure he has his reasons, but why that fighter? Yeah, because she keeps giving him this stinky eyes this whole time. The more he asks questions, the more is also it's also messing with his head a little bit now. Cause The more he asks questions, the more people are going to think maybe he is Kazuo's son. Because he's now kind of... Exactly, because it's going to spew curiosity out of these fighters. <laughs> oh he's gonna do to his father the same thing his father did to him threw him off a cliff <laughs> mm. 
Wow. His son defeated him, threw him off the cliff. He came right back, entered the second King of Iron Fist, and defeated his son, taking back his throne. <laughs> Baskonovich, that sounds Russian. The Devil Jean. Well, he wasn't totally like that, but you pushed him in. Exactly, you pushed him to it. So that's why Oga. Mm. There you go. There you go. Yes, him and his mother were training.
so the ogre wasn't going after the mother because I thought the ogre was just going after people that has an enormous strength and skills of fighting, which is kind of the same, but more specifically to people that has that same type of jinn power inside them. Then what? You want him to lure Olga into the open, then what? You're gonna, you know, go after it, to kill it, to destroy it, or to absorb its power. Stay tuned for more episodes, guys.